San Quentin was a medieval pilgrimage town, and in 16th century it was besieged by Spanish, and in 19th century it was captured by Germans. Unfortunately, in First World War, the city was completely destroyed. And since we love sharing with you the different architectural styles all across the country, we thought San Quentin is a place that you cannot miss because it's known, it's known for its Art Deco architecture all over the city. Why do we have so much of Art Deco? It's because, as Sinan mentioned, it was destroyed, the city was destroyed in the First World War, and then at the time of reconstruction, this was the most thing a la mode in fashion. So Gallery Art Deco, basically it was a big mall, something similar to, you know how you have Gallery Lafayette in Paris? Here you've got that and it was built after the First World War because, you know, the city was completely destroyed in the First World War. So what happened was, when it was built, it was initially meant to be a mall, sort of speak, a gallery, shopping gallery. Then they changed it because it wasn't doing so well, so they started using it as a as a place for spectacle, like a theater. And now it's closed, unfortunately. Underneath, you have just a big supermarket, which is Monoprix. And there is also a museum of butterfly, butterfly museum. On the side, yes. Yeah, on the side. It's a beautiful place, yeah. really beautiful. It's very beautiful. You can get the guide a uh, guided tour from the um, tourism office. I think it's much better if you arrange the guided tour. Absolutely. I don't office. think you can go in by yourself. I, I don't mean, think you so. need someone to explain it. Yeah, and he yeah. explains it so funny. It's in French, but it's so funny. It is so funny. I'm not sure if they have the English version. They probably do. Uh, contact tourism office, link below in the video, and they will be able to help you. They speak English, they're very friendly. Speaking of the tourism office, my goodness, so the guy when he saw us today, he just, we spoke to him in French, he spoke to us in English, then I switched to English, and he was so funny, he was like, what did he say? Uh, they were like, and he was like, oh, where are you from? He said, we live in France. Yeah. He was like, but obviously you are not French. <laughs> <laughs> Can you imagine? Yeah. And we were like, okay, it's funny. The Basilica of San Quentin was constructed in stages between 12th and 15th century. However, it was severely damaged during the First World War. And after extensive construction of Basilica, it was reopened in 1956. Have you ever gotten an egg from a vending machine? So something really strange is happening. We are basically sitting at the... Um, we are basically... <laughs> Apparently she wanted to be in the episode. Well, hello lady, you're gonna be in the episode. So we are at the... Um, Cafe, uh, no cafe, buffet de la gare, 
and um, the visit is supposed to, we don't know what it's gonna be like, but so far they've asked everybody to sit at the table and they've given us cakes and um, you can have tea or coffee if you like, um, but we've got water and so that doesn't want anything, so that's gonna be interesting. <laughs> It was very interesting, even though it took a little over an hour. It the guy does so concept. much fun. Once we got the cake, now I understand why they gave like, they told people to sit down and get a cake. About the gar itself, about the station, it was completely different until 1922. It was uh, burnt, so they had to rebuild it in Art Deco. It's classed as the Monument Historique. Yeah, and funny thing, it belongs to SNCF. And yeah. SNCF doesn't want to do anything with it, they just keep it like that. Even though people are trying to like, they've tried to approach SNCF to get it for themselves or like no, to open a restaurant. Yeah, it can Another be a cool thing, restaurant. But it cannot be. Because he actually mentioned that because it's Monument Historique, oh, they, cannot they cannot have a kitchen, they cannot have anything hot, they cannot have any steam or anything like that. Because it may damage the actual uh, decor of the, yeah. of, the build, uh, of the bar, of yeah. the buffet. Because the walls are covered with mosaic. It's all mosaics, and yeah. yeah. So it may damage. So of course it's understandable not to have any restaurant inside. But even now, if they have an event, he said that they do only cold buffet. Yeah. Only cold buffet. And um, it was a restaurant though until 1980s. He said, and then it was shut down. It failed apparently, and it doesn't work. And he also mentioned they didn't touch anything inside uh, in terms of the interior. They didn't change anything, they just kept... Except the chandelier. Yeah, except, yeah. Because they don't know where the originals went. Yeah. I think it was stolen or <laughs> they don't know where... I don't know. He yeah. joked, he said, oh, it may be found in some houses in uh, San Quentin itself. We don't know. Yeah. Speaking of San Quentin, he also gave us quite a lot of information about the city. Apparently there are 3,000 houses that are considered as Art Deco and 300 of them are actually classed as Art Deco. And apparently some of them are in a state where they're degrading. And that's because if they need to be restored, the owners need to actually make sure that it's done in that style. And that costs a lot of money. So if you want to buy something that's historic monument, think about that, yeah? If you are in love with Art Deco, of course you should come here. That's Definitely. me. I love it. I absolutely yeah. love it. I think it's great. Yeah. I think it's stunning. And this city is one, it's actually the most Art Deco city in France. Some people are saying that it's the most Art Deco city in Europe, but this guide has told us that that's oh. not the case. Yeah. There are other cities that could be competing with it. saint Quentin was the fifth place in Haute de France out of seven. So far we visited five churches in Haute de France out of seven. Just two left, which were Soyon, no sorry, not Soyon, Noyon and... Sonlis. Sonlis? Yeah. Ah yeah, Sonli. He's on his own thing, by the way. He's I'm on very his happy own. about that. <laughs> He's on his own uh, uh, mission to cover all the uh, big churches of Picardy. I don't even know. No, so far we covered <laughs> five out of seven. That's funny. Just two left. Yep. Thank you for joining us. If you would like to see more of these videos, please like, share and comment below. Yes. Until next week. And subscribe, huh? Yeah. Yeah. And until next week. Au revoir. Au revoir.